What's up guys, I'm Alzando, here with the first and possibly the only Call of Duty 4 video ever on my channel. Uh, this game of domination on ambush where we absolutely destroy the other team and end up winning with a score of 200 to 4. Unfortunately they did capture one of the points for a while, but we spend the vast majority of the game dominating them. So, yeah, I've been playing um, Call of Duty 4 a bit recently, just because I haven't played in ages, still have my disc and just thought, what the hell, may as well play some Call of Duty 4, as I find sniping on it a lot of fun, especially if you use ACOG, because it's a one-shot kill anywhere on the body, as quite a lot of people say, and I agree should happen in Modern Warfare 2, but then again, people who hate people who run around quitscoping think that it's good, not always one-shotting, but I think more people would prefer snipers to be a one-shot kill anywhere, or at least just the intervention of Barrett with stopping power uh, and FMJ than people who wouldn't like it like that. But yeah, so uh, Snipe in Call of Duty 4 is a lot of fun even without Snipe of Hand Pro, because um, of course back in Call of Duty 4, SMGs and assault rifles weren't as nearly as powerful as they were in Modern Warfare 2, because in this game, whatever weapon you're up against usually, you can have time to actually scope in with the a non sight of hand sniper, while in Modern Warfare 2, if you don't have sight of hand pro and you try and say quick scope someone who's got something like a UMP or I don't know, just one of the sort of overpowered guns in Modern Warfare 2, they can usually kill you before you've even had time to fully scope in. Probably like half scoped and they've killed you. So yeah. Sniping on Call of Duty 4 is a lot of fun and it is the only thing I do. Ugh, my classes on Call of Duty 4 are like an M40 with Deep Impact, an M40 with ACOG and Deep Impact, an M40 with Steady Aim, an M40 with ACOG and Steady Aim, and then a Barrett with ACOG and Steady Aim. Just in if I want to spam people. But yeah, I've only played Call of Duty 4 for the last like two days or so. Um, so not as. Actually, I'm probably a lot better than I used to be when I play this game. My overall kill death on Call of Duty 4 is 0.98. While on Modern Warfare 2, my current kill death is about 1.53. Um, used to be uh, at one point, one, like 1.8 on Modern Warfare 2, but then it just sort of went down. Wow, it looked like I popped that guy's dome. But uh, anywho, I'm using the uh, old kill streak glitch in Call of Duty 4, which is, as you saw, I got my chopper, waited until I died, and then called it in, and that's because it will now count towards my kill streak and essentially carry me to another chopper. Um, not really sure if this is frowned upon or not, I'm guessing it would be since it's sort of a way of cheating air support. It's like as soon as you get one sort of air support you can just get loads. It's the same with uh, airstrike, if you use an airstrike for the next life it will count to your new one. Um, and I end up getting I think two choppers in this game, the second one takes me a while to call in because there's so many other choppers up because our team was just absolutely destroying them. Um, when I actually started playing this today, I posted a bulletin saying uh, I'm playing COD 4, if you send me a message on Xbox saying COD 4, I will invite you. And only one person actually did that, who, uh, Stomp Goombas, who was in this game. You've already seen me go up to him every now and again. There he is in the kill feed, Stomp Goombas AK-47ing someone. Um, and yeah, he was awesome, he was a real team player, he was always capturing the point and the flags, stopping them. Um, stealing our flags in this game because as you can see I'm literally just running around killing people not really caring about the flags though obviously um, if our team is losing then I'll do something that's that's the sort of way I play objective games I mostly like to um, sort of let my team handle it while I just kill people because that does help the objective if I am killing people then I'm still helping but if if our team is like losing then I will obviously capture objectives and like for games like Demolition, I try and make the game on Modern Warfare 2. This is obviously. Um, I try to make the game last as long as possible. So, um, first first round, I usually just do whatever. It doesn't really matter which team wins. Usually, try and get our team to win. Second round, and this is the like normally what we do in a party as well. The group of friends I'm playing with. Second round, we purposefully lose so that we get a third round. Then we let one of the bomb sites go off um, if they're on attack to extend the game time then we'll win or if we're on attack we'll just arm the two bombs and that way you end up with a nice on game you still win uh, assuming you 
don't just be idiots and forget about the objective and you can get a nice high amount of kills and I think demolition is easy one of the games which you can get uh, the highest kill count in maybe sabotage if you let it last a while but then again you have respawn times in that which would um, not allow you to get that many kills yeah you can see that I've got another chopper but there's choppers up all the time and you can't call them in that is one thing I really don't like about Call of Duty 4 the uh, lack of stingers or anything good to take down as but the only thing you have is RPG and it's I don't think there's a perk which lets you not be killed by the chopper so whenever there's an enemy chopper I just sort of have to try and hide inside or hug walls which the chopper is on the other side of um, because as I say all my classes sniper classes on this game because it's easily the most fun thing to do uh, leave a comment on this video saying firstly which game you prefer between Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 um, I'm just gonna say this now COD 5 I really dislike. The multiplayer is quite horrible. Nazi Zombies is okay, but that's the only thing I really like about the game. Hopefully Black Ops will be okay, but yeah. Uh, so, p what do you prefer? Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2, and what do you find is the most fun thing to do in Call of Duty games? For me, obviously, it's sniping, and yeah, it's just fun trying to quick scope people, go for trick shots, even just trying to get a good score with a sniper is really fun. Um, and I really dislike the sort of people like on Call of Duty 4 who are 10th for season 55 so they've played the game to the maximum they can play it um, probably have completed all the challenges because I've on this on Call of Duty 4 I'm first for season 55 and I've completed all of the non-gun challenges and I've got the golden dragon off and almost the golden AK I just haven't got red tiger on G3, M14 or MP44 but I'm not going to do them because I don't play this game really much anymore but yeah I hate the people who are like that, but then run around with like MP5s or M16s because it's like congratulations, you played the game so much and you're still just tryharding and getting a really good score. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and my commentary. Be sure to like the video and leave a comment, and I will see you guys later.